Hello and welcome back to another No Frills Math with Miss V as we look into how do we make mini triangles. So we're in the same standard as our last triangle video. If you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. We're still looking at conditions that determine unique, more than one or no triangle. So this video is focusing on the, that more than one and no triangle aspects. And this time we're getting into triangle angles. So do any three angles we can be given to make, make a triangle. So we know, or maybe you're learning, that three angles of a triangle always add up to be 180 degrees. And we can test this by adding them together. But let's look at an example of how we know it makes 180. So here's my triangle. Now, if you are doing this following along, I recommend drawing a triangle, and cutting it out, and then ripping two of your corners off. I can't do that on the computer, so I've outlined them. Then we line them up with the third angle. So we've taken both of these angles, we've outlined them and we've lined them up. And we can see I make a straight line right here. So if you remember from angles, when we have a straight line or a straight angle, it equals 180 degrees. So because we can represent this by taking the three corners of a triangle and lining them up together and they make a straight line or a straight angle, we know the three corners or the three angles of a triangle have to add up to be 180 degrees. So let's look at some examples. Okay, do these make triangles. And so we're gonna test this by adding. So 90 plus 80 plus 10. Nine plus eight is 17. 17 plus one is 18. So yes, this adds up to be a 180. So this is a triangle. Okay, let's look at our next one. So 123 plus 23 plus 50. So I'm going to add my ones place first. So three plus three is six. Six plus zero is still six. And already you might be like, nah, that's not a triangle. How do we know? Well, I have to equal 180. This is going to end equal something ending in a six. But we can keep adding and just confirm. Two plus two is four. Four plus five is nine. Our one doesn't add to anything. So this does equal 196. It's not 180. So this is not a triangle. Okay, last one. So I'm going to put the 100 first, just so my large, my number with the most digits is listed first for organization. Okay, so zero plus five is five, five plus five is 10. I'm gonna put my zero, carry my one. One plus zero is one, plus three is four, plus two is six. And again, that should be an eight. If it's a triangle, it's not. This one in the hundreds place has no friends, so it's still just one. We can see this is 160, so this is not a triangle. Okay, so why do we say that these make many triangles. So I'm given these measures, and I know that a 90 degree angle is, is a right angle. 
and I can find this 10 degree angle and I can you make this 80 degree angle. But the thing is, I don't know, and these angles were not be to measure at all. So don't break out your protractor and be like, oh, Miss V, that's the wrong measurement. I know, not drawing this to scale. But the thing is, I don't know how big this triangle is because I'm just given two of the angle measures. Okay, it could be small, it could be very large. So we call this making many triangles because we don't know the dimensions just from the angle measures. Unlike when I'm given actual side lengths, three feet is three feet. It, I can't change that. You know, any ruler I pick up and measure three feet, it's going to be the same. Um, but these angle measures, because I don't know dimensions, I can make many different triangles. Okay, so we can also find a missing angle by setting up an equation and solving. So we know from the first set of examples that three angles of a triangle have to equal 180 when they're added together. So using that knowledge, I can say 50 plus 60 plus my missing angle X, they have to equal 180. Now this is just a uh, equation. I do have other videos if you need to see them, but I'm gonna combine my like terms and get 110 plus X equals 180. I'm gonna undo this positive or this addition with subtracting. So I know that this X angle equals 70 degrees. And let's look at this triangle right here. I can see one angle measures 30 degrees. One measures 55 degrees and one measures X plus 10 degrees or X plus 10. Together, they measure degrees. And this is 180 in total. So I'm gonna combine all of my parts. 30 plus 55 is 85, plus 10 more is 95. I'm gonna subtract my 95. Okay, I'm gonna write my answer over here to the side. I did not give myself enough space. So X equals, okay, 180 minus 95. This is gone and canceled. So I can't do that. So I'm gonna borrow, make my eight a seven, my zero into a 10. 10 minus five is five. 17 minus nine is eight. So I get that X equals 85. Now I was asked to find the missing angle. So my angle is X plus 10 is the whole angle measure. So I'm gonna say 85 plus 10 and that equals 95 degrees for my angle measure. Once again, my mathematicians, thanks for checking out this no frills math video. I'm Miss V your teacher, and I look forward to seeing you at a future video.